my name is Susan Salvo, and today we're going to learn a routine that works the muscles and uh, the temporal mandibular joint. And to start, we're going to do a little bit of a review of the musculature. Um, there are four muscles of mastication. Um, there are two that can be accessed externally and uh, some that have to be accessed internally. These muscles are the temporalis and the masseter. Some people call this the masseter. Um, this is the two heads of the lateral pterygoid here and then the medial pterygoid. I want you to notice how this attachment of the medial pterygoid is a mirror image of this attachment onto the masseter. One is inside the jaw, one is outside the jaw. I want you to notice here too that the masseter also attaches along the zygomatic arch. So we'll be working on both portions of the attachments of the masseter. This routine will also require us to glove up. So at a certain point, you're gonna have to put on gloves before you enter the oral cavity. And this is Molly, our volunteer. And um, this is a lubricantless massage, which means we're not going to be using massage lubricant. All the movements on these muscles are done without massage cream, because you do not want to be sliding across the skin. You want to be contacting the skin and moving it underneath the musculature, okay? So we're going to pretend that we've already done a back, neck, and shoulder routine. We've got her nice and relaxed. We're ready to target those muscles of mastication. Um, the first muscle we're going to be working on is the masseter. And remember, with the attachments, we're going to be taking our fingers, locating the zygomatic arch, going just beneath it. And you can either do several fingers contacted at the same time, or you can use a single finger at, the, at one time. But I'm going to use several fingers. And I'm going across like this. And notice when I want to move, I just lift up my fingers and move them over. And notice you can't really see what my other hand is doing, but I'm holding her hand, her head still with my other hand. Otherwise, she would just take off. Woo so I'm holding and massaging. Now, once I finish working, and I'll be doing this on, on both sides in, in a real setting. Um, once I finish working the masseter, I'm going to go to where her jaw makes that angle. I'm going to pull the skin so you can see it easier. It's right here. This is the angle and I'm going to go in front of it and I'm going to go, oh yeah, feel that? Mm -hmm. um, I'm doing the same cross fiber move. Go ahead, now I want you to go ahead and uh, clench your teeth and relax. You can see how when the muscle shortens and thickens, it moves my finger out the way. That's one way to tell you're on the right area. Do it one more time, good. So when she relaxes, I'm just doing a cross fiber move. I'm using my, my longer finger, my pointer, I'm sorry, middle finger right now. It's not a big space. You can look at it and just see it's maybe an inch. Not a big space at all. Now remember I told you that underneath that same area but behind the jaw is the medial pterygoid. So what I'm going to do now, it's going to be a little uncomfortable, tell me if you want me to stop. Okay. I'm going to take my finger, I'm going to hook it around and underneath and back and I'm going to be working the medial pterygoid on the other side of the mandible. Is it a little tender? Mm -hmm. okay. A little bit. It's different. Okay, I want to hook a little bit more. Is it different when I hook it? A little bit different. Okay, good. Makes my teeth do weird things. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you finish that, you, you've worked the masseter, you've worked one portion of the medial pterygoid. You're going to go into the temporalis, and the temporalis is, it fills up most of the side of the head here. Um, you, I like to take my fingers and place them into the sides of the head and do this wonderful move here. Some people like to do their knuckles. I'm not quite that talented. But um, and again, you do the same thing here. You clench your teeth. It's harder to see because this muscle's muscle is flatter. But um, you can probably feel that, can't you, Molly? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're going to be working. I'm going ahead and work on both sides now. But again, you, you're still maintaining that support with your opposite hand here. Once you get the area nice and loose and relaxed, I'm going to go midline. I'm going to take a, a glove and I'm going to put it on, let me see which, which hand, this hand. And I've already explained the procedure to Molly so she kind of knows what to expect. 
These are uh, vinyl gloves, not latex gloves. If you use latex gloves, make sure that you, the therapist, or your client does not have latex allergies. Now, when you go inside the mouth, uh, I use my thumbs. Some therapists use their fingers. I'm better at using my thumbs. Open your mouth for me. You're going into the cheek. So you're not going into where her teeth are. You go into the, the buckle or the cheek area. Now close, but don't bite me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, when I went inside, I automatically bumped up against the ramus of the mandible. Bump, bump, bump. I'm not doing hard because that would hurt. But then I'm going to move myself around to have a good anatomic angle. Um, I'm using my, my pointer finger now to where I'm doing this inside her mouth. Her cheek is there, her muscles are there, but I'm doing this with the, the cheek in the way. Now, clench for me. Ooh, okay. Now, relax. Hers is farther back than I expected. Mm -hmm. Everyone's a little bit different. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is, I'm, it's like I'm plucking the muscle inside, plucking the, the pterygoids. And again, you can notice my uh, point, my index finger. I'm kind of moving it around, not very much, not very far, but I'm moving it around enough to hit different aspects of that muscle. I wanted to show you that again. I'm going to hang on to it. I'll go ahead and clench your teeth again. Woo! Okay, and that's not me moving. That is her moving <laughs> me. So once you get that nice and relaxed, this should feel pretty good. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to do both sides in a real setting. Come out slowly. When you, you take off the glove, you go in from the cuff to the fingertips, taking the contaminated part of the glove inside, throw them away later. And uh, in a clinical setting, I would actually rewash my hands even though I did use uh, a glove. Um, what I'm going to do now <clears throat> is this move is like a Traeger-like move. I'm going to grab her, the base of her skull. Just relax for me as much as you can. I'm going to take my whole thumb web. I'm going to contact her jaw so my fingers are touching like this. And I'm going to isolate her jaw and move it to where I'm actually moving her jaw into her temporal bone. You can visualize that. This should feel pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. And again, and I'm, I'm grabbing her whole jaw. I'm not pinching her with my fingertips. It's like, I'm grabbing her like that. I didn't make, I won't make that noise. I'm not scared, okay. but you can also grab the jaw and vibrate like this. Good. <laughs> you can also uh, have her open her mouth and, and, and the severity of the condition will indicate whether or not you can do this or not. Her, her TMJ is not that severe. Okay, I want you to open your mouth, and I, as you close slowly, I'm going to guide it to the side. Very, very good. Hope, hopefully, you'll see that well. Open your mouth. I'm guiding it to the side. Very nice. Open again, guiding it to the side. I'm applying constant pressure to the side as she's closing her mouth. Again, close. Very good. Now, this time, I'm going to go back to, to the temporal, temporalis, and I want you to open close and clench. Okay, hang on to that clench. Feels different, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, open, slow, close, clench. You can do that three or four times. And this will be the last time for now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So once, once again, we've done a great massage of her facial area inside her mouth, the pterygoids, the masseter, the temporalis, We've done some mobilizations with her, with her mandible, and um, this should give her a lot of great relief. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys.